Okay, now we're going to do the soil nitrate one-to-one uh, -one test that's in the nitrogen uh, educator's guide. We've already prepared the one-to-one uh, -one soil mixture and decanted it. So we're going to take a strip out of our uh, soil uh, nitrate uh, test strips for water quality. These strips can be used for testing soil one-to-one -one mixture. They can also be used to test for nitrate and nitrite in water uh, simply by placing, uh, taking a sample of water from the tap or the water source and also estimating that. Okay, we have the nitrate uh, test strip bottle. Uh, it has both nitrate and nitrite, and so we're going to take a strip out. It's important that you go ahead and keep this closed because it can get contaminated with moist air, etc. So keep it in a cool, dry area. Now we're going to test for nit nitrate, and it's all of the tests, nitrate, phosphate, and pH, are done in the same manner. The bottom pad is for nitrate. The second one up is for nitrite. Uh, nitrite is, is, is a earlier form in the nitrogen cycle. And typically, you have to have very, very high nitrate levels for nitrite to show up. But again, we go ahead and break the surface tension. Again, sometimes this is like breaking the surface tension of jello. And then we wait to see for about a minute to see if we get a change in color. And to make this easier on you, it's important to probably rest your hand on the table if you're doing this in the classroom or on the ground. In this case, I'm doing it here. We're going to go ahead and compare it to the test strip. And we did nitrate, the first one. And so what we have for a color is somewhere between 20 parts per million and 50 parts per million. In this example, I would say it's probably closer to 50, so about 40 parts per million. Uh, and then you go ahead and record that in your educator guide and in the educator guide you can convert the <clears throat> parts per million to pounds. Uh, there's a guidance in there on if you're testing on how much fertilizer you may need to apply. It's also important to know that the timing when you test this, if you test it in the summer, uh, when some, if you, after some of the organic nitrogen started to convert to nitrate, it might test higher. If you test it uh, uh, right after fertilizer application, it would not be the best thing. You want to test it usually early in the spring or as close to uptake as you can so you know how much of that uh, nitrogen supply is in the nitrate form.